Welcome to Luzon. In this video, we are going to introduce you to the two of the most renowned national artists from Luzon, Juan F. Nakpil and Fernando Amarcelo. In this exploration, we delve into their lives, works, and lasting legacies of these iconic figures who have left an indelible mark on Philippine art and culture. From Nakpil's groundbreaking architectural designs that shape the urban landscape to Omar Sola's captivating paintings that immortalize the beauty of Filipino life. Meet one Philippine Nakpil, Ida Sus, a national artist known in the field of architecture, renowned Filipino architect born on May 26, 1899 in Chiapo, Manila, and died on May 7, 1986. His architectural prowess earned him numerous accolades, being named as Architect of the Year in the years 1939, 1940, and 1946, and receiving the award of Most Outstanding Professional Architect Award in 1951. Nakpil's contributions to Philippine architecture is significant. Let's take a look at three of his most significant projects. First, the Magsaysay Building completed in 1967 in Malate, Manila. This 18-story edifice was built in honor of President Ramon Magsaysay featuring a unique design with God supporting pillars giving it an elevating look. Next, the Rizal Shrine in Calamba, Laguna. This Bahay na Bato showcased a traditional Filipino design element like narrow flooring and copy shell window. It now serves as a museum, a housing memorabilia of Jose Rizal's life. Lastly, the Quiapo Church on Quezon Boulevard, Plaza Miranda, Quiapo, Manila. This grand church features an imposing red brick facade with two large bell towers, intricate wooden doors, and stunning stained glass windows. It is a masterpiece of architectural and religious significance. Meet Fernanda Amarcelo, a celebrated Filipino artist born on May 30, 1892 in Paco, Manila, and passed away on April 24, 1972. His paintings captured the essence of Filipino life and culture, earning him international recognition and prestigious awards such as UNESCO Gold Medal of Recognition on 1959, Rizal Pro Patria Award from the Far Eastern University on 1961, and Gawal CCP Parasining Award from the Cultural Center of the Philippines on 1972. Amorzola's contributions to Philippine art are immense. Let's explore three of his most iconic paintings. First, Las Lavanderas. Painted in 1956, this masterpiece depicts the beauty of everyday life, showing women washing clothes by the river. Amorzola's use of light and composition brings this simple chart to life, highlighting the beauty of the surroundings. Next, Dalagang Bukid, painted in 1958. This painting showcases a more solo iconic Filipina woman portrayed with a smile at hold in a clay jar. The painting symbolizes innocence and fragility, capturing the essence of rural Philippine life. Lastly, Women Cooking, painted in 1955. This painting depicts the two women a cooking a meal, but in the warm of the glow of the sunset in the fire. Amarsolo skills of light that creates and details that romanticize Filipinas' pastoral life. Sure. Fernando's Amarsolo's painting continues to inspire and captivate the audiences, showcasing the beauty and richness of the Filipino culture and heritage. Through their contributions to the rich cultural structure of the Philippines, their unbreakable commitment and artistic vision have fostered pride and appreciation for our cultural history. Their efforts serve as a constant reminder of the Filipino people's determination, creativity, and boundless energy. In addition to encouraging countless Filipino artists, Nakfil and Amor Sola's artistic vision and skill have left a lasting impression on history for future generations by capturing the essence of Filipino character. In short, from the magnificent architectural creations of Nakfil, such as the Capo Church, to the eye-catching paintings of Amor Sola, such as Las Labanderas, truly captivate the Filipino hearts with full pride. 
Our group looks up to honor their amazing contribution to Philippine arts as their everlasting legacy has inspired many local artists and will continue to inspire future brush and pen holders.